Hey guys, this is Marco from MarkTech. I do audio reviews, but for today we've got something different set up. I'm going to try and guide you how to EQ your headphones, how to set the whole thing up, a full tutorial. And uh, if you guys are interested, uh, you should definitely check it out. All right, let's go. So for us to EQ headphones properly, what we have to do is uh, download two programs. Uh, one of those programs is Pace Equalizer. What Pace is, is it's basically an interface for Equalizer APO. That's the main program. It's uh, sort of a skin, a GUI, you know, a better looking interface. So you've got an easier job of setting the EQ up. So the first thing you have to do, and uh, we're going to be doing it together. I've had the equalizer installed before but i installed the whole thing just so i can show you guys how to set the whole thing up so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the equalizer apo up all right so you know just a normal installation next i agree program files is good install an, an easy install so in the configurator window here um, so the first thing you got to do is you got to select a playback device uh, that you want the EQ on. So in my case, that is the uh, that's the system connection here from the Go XLR Mini. We don't need to worry about the capture devices; just the uh, playback devices here. So once you have Equalizer APO installed. The next thing you gotta do is you gotta install the pace equalizer here. That's the GUI portion. So as you can see uh, in the setup windows, it says that the equalizer APO is already installed. So yes, you do have to install the equalizer APO first before you install the pace uh, GUI, you know. You don't need to uh, select any other settings. Just click install here. So the frequencies uh, you can you can change it. Basically, if you want to target, let's say 100 hertz, that's uh, sub bass region. You can do that just by typing in here. You can, like I said before, you can boost it, you can lower it. What the gain does is basically what it means is just by how much do you want to boost a specific frequency. So a gain value of four is a gain value of four means that you want you wanted to boost that frequency by four dB, and you can of course go in the other direction. What the quality uh, value here means is uh, how sharp that boost is. So, for example, if I set the quality value to, let's say, 5 or 6, uh, and uh, let's say we want to boost, uh, let's say, 50 hertz region by 5 dB, what that quality value will do, let's check it. So as you can see, the higher the quality or the Q value is, the more sharp the boost is going to be. And that's not really natural. Uh, so I would suggest, uh, you know, staying, uh, let's say below two, Let, let's see what this will do. So I've changed the value to two. As you can see, a much uh, smoother boost, a more, looks more like a like a gentle peak not a sharp okay so that is what that does and uh, the filters are i think self-explanatory in a way you can see from the picture here that the normal peak filter just boosts a certain frequency in uh that in this sort of fashion uh the more the more important filters are the low shelf and high shelf filters 
what the low and high shallow filters do is uh, this. So in my own case here, we can see that the uh, whole range that is below 100 hertz. So anything below that, from 10 to 100 hertz, everything is gradually boosted by 5.5 dB. So a nice bass boost or a sub bass boost, basically. And that is what the you know, low shell filter, filter can do. And the same applies for the high shell filter. The guy I respect the most when it comes to EQ headphones is oratory. I think he has the most precise measurements and uh, the, the best ear in the business for this sort of thing, you know. He does default measurements and based on that measurements, he EQs headphones uh, based on the Harman target curve. If somebody's wondering what the Harman target curve is, it's a curve developed by Dr. Sean Olive. It is, was developed or used uh, to sort of mimic how a good pair of stereo speakers in a good acoustically treated room should sound. That is how the Harman target curve was uh, designed, you know. Let me show you how to import specific uh, curves, for example. Uh, in my case, uh, if I want to EQ the HD 10 hundreds from Sennheiser, what I can do what I can do is uh, go here, for example. There's a full list of presets made by Oratory for many, many different headphones. Uh, let's just search for mine here, HD 700s, they're here. So this is the Harman target curve. Um, uh, okay, so the response you see up here, that's the compensated frequency response and the raw frequency response is here and that is basically the frequency response of the HD 700 headphones by default this uh, orange value here the uh, greenish uh, thicker bar you see in the background that is how the Harman uh, frequency response is and that is uh, how we are going to EQ the HD 700s to fit this exact precise uh, green bar uh, so these are the default values and these are the uh, the values uh, after the EQ this is how the curve will look after the EQ um, and uh, the values are right here on the bottom of this page these are the settings you have to import to equalizer APO so remember that you also have to be uh, cautious about this value the preamp gain has to be set to minus 5.4 db uh, that is because if you are changing uh, different frequencies around uh, boosting some lowering some uh, this is going to cause your eqs uh, or i mean your headphones to clip that is why you have to uh, lower the preamp gain to minus five so we don't clip our headphones when we're listening to music you know that is why the, the value here is lower so if we open up this page uh if you can see the uh my sennheiser values here um you can see that they match with what it's what is set up here 100 so the freq the first frequency we got to set up is 105 hertz you got to boost that frequency by 5.5 uh, db uh and uh, wow i've just uh <laughs> i found out that i've set it up incorrectly okay i've got to, i've got to fix that good thing i've uh, i'm doing this tutorial i guess yeah, the, the, the Q factor, the, the quality factor, that's uh, what we've discussed before, how sharp the, the, the peaks or the valleys are, you know. The lower the value, the less sharp they are, the more uh, shallow they are, basically. And the filler type, low shelf, uh, that is the filler type here. 
uh, why did I uh, pick Q as slope uh, instead of uh, slope in dB? Well, that is just how uh, what the, the value must be set to in order to to match this graph in here. If I were to set up uh, the uh, the low shelf filter as a slope in dB, uh, you know this slope here wouldn't match uh, how this is portrayed in here. So that is why I've set it up to a low shelf filter. Uh, that is why I've set up the Q value as slope. Um, so basically, you just have to follow these filter settings here, copy them to uh, the the values here. And the same for the high shelf. I've used the Q as slope. Uh, you can just check if you set it, if you set up everything correctly, you know, this EQ curve total should match the, uh, the EQ curve in here. We can uh, inspect it. For example, just look at it. Yep. As you can see, a perfect match. So, that basically means we've set up the filters correctly. That is the manual way of uh, setting things up. And once you've set up the filter, you can just, uh, you know, you're, it's going to be different for you because you're going to be starting from the equalizer default uh, configuration. And uh, you can change that equalizer default value to match. For example, uh, if, you got the, if you've got the AG700, you, uh, you can change it to match my own values here and when you press save you can uh, set up the you know just the name and uh, what the tray icon will look like um, and when you press save a new configuration is going to be made so you're not going to be overwriting the the default conf configuration and that is basically how you save uh, new configurations you know you can select any of the default config values and when you save it there's going to be a new config file created for you. So this is basically uh, all your audio devices are found on your computer. So that's why I've set it up to system. So only my headphones are affected and nothing else, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, I did choose a different color. So uh, <laughs> this orange value is when the EQ is on. As you can see here in the tray icon and if you if I go to uh, equalizer default the value changes to uh, blue so I know visually that when my uh, equalizer is on or off uh, yeah and that is that is the the sort of the manual way there is another way if you guys are interested um, there's another guy on github that that is sort of uh, doing equalization. So if you type auto EQ in Google, you're gonna just go to this page here on GitHub. So Jakobson, that's that's the guy's name. He's got a lot of different uh, EQ curves already set up as text files. And the 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 values on here do differ from uh, Oratory's uh, Reddit page because and that's because they were automated so if you go to results here and we go to oratory and we find our uh, hd 700s here hd 700s if you click on here uh, as you can see you've got different values on here uh, and what you select depends on what sort of eq you're using and uh, peter's equalizer apo is a parametric eq can right click the row button save link us okay so now you've basically gotten the Jacobson oratory values for my uh, headphones here and you just need to import them so import you select the values in here all right open and uh, You've got a, an EQ setup made for you. You know, you don't need to input any values uh, manually. That's why I've uh, said before that you have a, an easier option. But uh, I was comparing the HD700s 
settings made by oratory, the ones that I've inputted manually in the AG700 values uh, that were made by Jacobson. And uh, I do have a slight preference to the EQ that was made by oratory. It just sounds a little bit better to me. As you can see in the graph here, the EQ is a little bit different to the uh, oratory one. If we check it here. As you can see, there's a slight difference. And, uh, but yeah, that is just how I would set it up. I would set it up manually uh, using oratory settings. And after you've done that, uh, you can listen to a piece of music and uh, then start to change these values uh, however you want, you know, how, whatever your preference is. If you think there's too little uh, bass in the music on your headphones or if you think the you know the low bass is a little bit too scooped out, you can just change this value. And that is the magic of EQ, guys. You can EQ any headphones and uh, these settings here, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you right now, they are going to be better than what your headphones are equipped with by default. It's what a lot of people prefer. There are other EQ curves out there, but that is the target curve I'm using and uh, that's the target curve I'm going to keep on using. Well, hopefully you've liked this tutorial. I've tried to provide as much as I can. And of course, if you'd like to see more stuff like this and other things in the future, follow me, subscribe, you know, click that notification button so you know when I post new things, follow my other social media channels. And yes, that is all for today. I'll see you next time.